Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Hannah, thanks for watching. Okay, today I have a regular episode for you. This is one where I share my works in progress, um, any finished objects, things like that. Um, acquisitions if I have any. If we haven't met, I'm Hannah. I am a stay-at-home mom to my son, Ollie, and I live in North Carolina um, with my husband and yeah, I love knitting. <laughs> I design um, knitwear for children, so you can look at my patterns in the description. I have a link to my Ravelry store. If you don't use Ravelry, they're also available on PayHip. Um, I'll add the link to that too. Okay, today, um, the weather in North Carolina, it has been a cooler week for us for spring. It's been about 45 Fahrenheit in the morning and maybe reaching about 70 Fahrenheit in the afternoon. So that's actually pretty cool for where we live. Um, in the Raleigh Durham area, it's usually pretty, it's pretty warm by now, um, but that's fine. I mean, it's okay. I got to wear my champagne cardigan today, um, but I was making some bread and so the oven's on and it's very, <laughs> it's very warm. So if you hear my, my um, oven go off. As always, um, I would love to hear what you're knitting on um, while you're watching and also what the weather is like where you are. We went strawberry picking yesterday and it was cold and I had to ask my mom like what do you wear um, to strawberry pick in the cold because usually it's like we're wearing our sun hats and tank tops and, and shorts and all of that but um, it was pretty chilly so <laughs> um, that's what's back here. I got a whole bunch of a bunch of strawberries to eat up. Anyway, so I actually don't have a finished object today. It feels like it has been forever since I found something off. Um, I am working on a few sample knits right now, and I also have my massive blanket I'm working on. It's almost done. So yeah, I just haven't finished any projects in a long time. But I used to share when I didn't have a finished object uh, from the archives sweater, one that you know I made a long time ago and I love and that I wear a lot, but it was before I started my Instagram or my podcast. So I have one today. I wore this on my Instagram, um, or I posted it on my Instagram in a story that I was wearing it maybe two days ago, two or three days ago. And I got a lot of comments because I realized, I guess since I posted it last, I had gotten new followers. Um, and so they hadn't seen it before. So a few people asked if I could share it on here. Um, this is my Maybe my second garment that I ever finished um, when I was starting to pick up knitting more seriously. This one has a lot of memories to it. The sweater itself is Flax by Tin Can Knits. It's a free pattern. Um, and I added the cable camo here and the cable on the sleeves. Um, the yarn is Worsted Twist by Pearl Soho. It's a worsted weight, um, I think it's two ply merino. Um, yeah, so I actually just saw on their website they're discontinuing it, which is sad to me because it's one of the first Pearl Soho yarns that I loved. So it's very on sale right now <laughs> if you need it. Um, but my, my dad actually gifted me this yarn. Um, in 2020, he was working a lot in, in New York City um, in early 2020. And so his last trip there before um, the pandemic kind of closed everything down. If you're running the US, the epicenter for the US was New York City. And so my dad was traveling there while we were hearing all this news. Anyway, he, his last trip into the city, he stopped by Pearl Soho when they still had like a storefront and everything. And he got me a sweater's quantity of this yarn, which just like meant so much and, and so sweet of him to do that. Um, and then, yeah, I don't think he's been back since then. The storefront was closed. Um, yeah, it was just a crazy time. And this just, like sends me back to that. I feel so grateful for, you know, our health and safety and, um, you know, my dad's safety traveling and bringing this yarn back for me. So yeah, it's a really special sweater. I, I love it. I wear it all the time. It's <laughs> so soft. It does pill a lot probably cause it's so soft and also cause I wear it so much, but I just use my little sweater shaver and take those off, but I don't really mind. It just looks like comfy and cozy. Like if I knit this again, I would do like, you know, the short rows, I would do probably sewn bind off, but I just didn't know any of those things then. Um, so I'm really happy with it still and I still wear it 
um, just to, to kick around in, as they say. So this is a very special sweater to me. It's very cropped because I was worried about running out of yarn and I didn't know if I'd be able to get any more. Most of my pants are high rise anyway. Um, and so I like that a lot. This was, yeah, my flax in Pearl Soho Worsted Twist. Out of stock, or not out of stock, it's discontinued. So go get it before it's totally out of stock. <laughs> um, I do have a new work in progress. This little cutie is the second sample for my um, rainy day sweater pattern. So I just picked up the stitches for the neckband. Um, as you can see, I got my cord. Uh, anyway, so I'm knitting the size 12 months. Um, just for a second sample, I was thinking about um, putting it at my local yarn shop because that's where I got this yarn. Um, so people can see the pattern and then say, oh, I'll buy the yarn and the pattern it would be great. Um, for, for both of us, <laughs> but, um, yeah, this is my pattern. I talked a lot about it on Instagram maybe, but not as much on here. Um, it's coming in just two weeks, I think. Um, it's like a heavy DK, light worsted weight. This is Cascade 220 Super Wash Yarn. Um, my testers have used just like a wide variety of yarns, and so I can't wait to share the pictures. Um, maybe I'll do a future video on that. Is that something you guys are interested in? I feel like a lot of times my audience on YouTube is more interested in my adult knitwear versus Instagram, maybe more of my children's knits. I don't know if anyone's that interested in my children's knits. <laughs> I hope that you are. Um, anyway, so if, if that's interesting, let me know if you want to see me talk about like tester photos and just like the construction and stuff. It's, it's very simple, but the cable makes it look, you know, really special. Um, the inspiration behind the name, the rainy day sweater, is that um, when my son gets up, he will run to the front door and he will open, well, I will open the door for him and he'll ask if it's a sunny day or if it's a rainy day. And this is the kind of sweater that I would see people wearing on a rainy day. <laughs> um, I was thinking actually about making this one just a slipover instead of a full sleeve, just to kind of give that cute look because I know a lot of people are heading into spring and this is a heavier weight sweater. Personally, I, I knit for my son like year round because he pretty much just wears um, winter knitted garments and less summer knitted garments. Um, so I, I'm okay making a, a sweater in the summer for him, but I know some people like to knit seasonally, which I support that I do that for myself. But anyway, Yes, if you want to be the first to know about my pattern and get a subscriber discount, um, you can sign up for my newsletter. I usually have the patterns like 20% off um, in the first week for subscribers just to say thank you for letting me in your inbox. I know it's a often a crowded place or often a, a well-curated place, so I appreciate that. Okay, enough about my sweater. <laughs> it's coming May 8th, rainy day sweater for all your kiddos, newborn to 10 years, worsted weight, bottom up, Drop shoulder, <laughs> trying to hit all the keywords. Extra cute, <laughs> perfect for your little ones. I mean, I think so, but um, I'll have the size chart available on Ravelry and Pay Hit before you purchase it if you're interested in seeing the sk full schematic. Okay, I'm sure you guys are tired of this <laughs> by now. <laughs> My blanket, I just have two squares left. So if you've been following along, I've been trying so hard not to fall behind kept this as a weekend project so I would do one square a weekend which is like two halves but then the last two weekends I kind of lost because we had COVID and yeah so I didn't knit like at all <laughs> so I have two squares left it ends on the 30th um so it might be finished but it probably won't have the ends woven in <laughs> but I'm, I'm really liking how it's turning out I'm just gonna share like this um, I posted about it on my Instagram. My son loves it. His favorite color is this one. Um, he was counting this, how many there were of this color. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. I shared on Instagram though that like, I have memories of like making blankets with my mom. Those ones where you like cut and tie the like little fleece. Um, like her always making those for us or making them for friends or family or someone who needed some extra love. And so... Um, it just feels special to also make a blanket for my family and I hope that it has, you know, lots of love and good memories connected with it.
anyway, part of the reason I knit, it's just the sentimental value um, and being able to pass it on. So, okay, that's my blanket. I'm, I'll share an update in two weeks when it's done and it's a finished object, but for now, it's just like a languishing whip. <laughs> this is probably the biggest project I've ever like taken up, definitely, until I knit my husband's cardigan and then that will be the biggest project I've ever tried. Okay, I am now gonna do show you my Cardi Jumper. This is um, by Nez Oliveira. It's a cardigan. Just reminds me, I have another whip to show you. It's a cardigan. And I'm knitting it in Pearl Soho Buttercup Cotton, which is also discontinued. I don't know what it is with me and discontinued stuff, um, but try this side on maybe. The color is Lavender Fog. It's a beautiful lavender color. So I'm just gonna try this side on to show you what, what it kind of looks like. It will be like this. This is the V-neck front and then the back is a crew neck. So the intention when I guess is that it's reversible. So it has this nice little seam here, which looks very pretty. And then there's a little bit of short rows here to kind of fill in this gap. Um, I am knitting the sleeve right now. Oh gosh, I'm tangled <laughs> with double pointed needles. Um, not ideal, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I don't have like a cord available long enough to do magic loop. So I just have my DPNs. Is there a third way that I don't know of shorties, I guess? I just didn't want to buy another needle. And if I did, I'd probably buy like a really, really long thread lace um, in a size five. I started to use fives more. I might just have one of those red lace ones and sixes for sweaters, but I've been using fives a lot more. But doing it on double pointed needles is kind of a slog, especially in cotton. I feel like it is not forgiving. And so if there's any sort of laddering, it's very obvious. I, I want to do the um, button band like as soon as possible, just to see what it would look like. Um, and also to help with the structure because it does feel a little bit, um, it's not flimsy. It's like a little delicate right now. So yeah, I only have one ball of yarn left, um, because I just got two and I didn't realize it was discontinued when I got it or it was going to be discontinued. And so I'm just going to knit the sleeves first and then however much is left of the yarn, I'm going to put towards the body. So that is my Cardi Jumper. It's currently being graded to be fully size inclusive, so I don't know when that is coming out, but that's an exciting thing. Um, I think she's making a few changes to the pattern to kind of make it a better fit for everyone, so you know, that's exciting. I definitely want to make another um, version for myself, more of a winter, winter weight. I'm trying to find my last project, I see it. Okay, so my last project is my, the first cardigan. I have no idea why I'm working on so many cardigans right now, except for this morning when I went to go pick out a sweater to wear today. I wanted to wear a cardigan. I did wear my champagne cardigan. And so I, I am really happy to be making these, but they are just taking me forever. Like this one's fine. I could actually wear it right now, but it's okay. I probably won't need it for the until the fall. So it's okay that it's like languishing, but you guys just have to keep seeing it. <laughs> um, so I moved on to the sleeves and this is all I've progress I've made. I really just been trying to finish my blanket, which has not gone that well. Um, but the sleeves are in half fisherman's rib. I don't know if you can see, there we go. Um, yeah, I, I really am enjoying the pattern. She has like a trick to know which row you should knit next, which is really helpful to me because I sometimes just throw this down and then move on and I come back to the sleeve and I'm like, oh gosh, which one is it? So let me attempt to show you. I don't know if you can see, but here in those pearl bumps, it's just stuck on my face. In the pearl bumps, there's only one stitch instead of two stitches. So when I do this, I will need to knit through the bottom 
stitch. If that doesn't make any sense, then just forget about it. <laughs> I am sort of new to half fisherman's rib, so it was really like mind blowing to me that there would be a way where I could tell like what what is next without having to trial and error and then like rip the whole thing out. Um, <laughs> so anyway, this is in, um, this is Knitting for Olive Mohair in the color Hazel. And then I'm using Pearl Soho Goodwill in the color Walking Stick. This color is also in my blanket. Okay, those are all my works in progress. I have so many swatches I need to make and so many more projects to cast on and none of these are like halfway done. I don't know. And I'm doing a pattern launch. I feel like maybe it's too much. But the good news is, again, this doesn't need to be done right now. Yeah. Okay. So um, I do have an acquisition. I do have an acquisition. It's for a sample knit I'm working on. This is Pearl Soho Linen Quill. I feel like this is the summer yarn. I just see it everywhere. I have a lot of it. Patterns are being released in it, um, including this one. So this is the color Fresh Pickle. I'm not a pickle person, but I would say, yeah, it looks like a pickle. <laughs> it's it's dark enough to be kind of foresty, but it has those light, light touches in there. So that's probably the pickle part. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm working on this in sample and I'll send that off to the designer for her pattern. It's currently in testing and it will be out soon for a new summer top. Okay, that's all I have today, another short project update. I'll be back next week with a different topic, but until then, happy knitting.